Hey everybody, welcome back to Medicine Deconstruct and I'm your host, Dr. Jay Rutland. We're gonna talk about tezepelumab today. Tezepelumab is a monoclonal antibody that inhibits TSLP. But more importantly, we're gonna talk about TSLP and what it does in the airways. When you think about asthma, it's as a result of white blood cells that travel into the smooth muscle areas, causing bronchoconstriction and inflammation. We know that TSLP contributes to the recruitment of white blood cells in this area. So the way that we know whether white blood cells are actually present is by doing something called a mannitol challenge test. So let's talk about TSLP, tezepelumab, and the mannitol challenge test. First of all, quick reminder, asthma is an autoimmune inflammation of the pipes that carry air to the lung. The pipes are surrounded by muscle, and when that muscle contracts, the pipe becomes more narrow. Patients cough, wheeze, and have other symptoms. That, simplistically, is asthma. The muscle must be provoked to contract. Since the airway epithelium is constantly exposed to the outside environment, anything we breathe in if you have that genetic predisposition to do so, can lead to inflammation surrounding the airway epithelium, which will provoke the smooth muscle. I've talked about this cytokine profile previously here. But how do we test for airway inflammation in patients? There's a few ways. You can measure the pheno, or we provoke the contraction of the smooth muscle as a result of the release of inflammatory mediators due to the presence of a lot of white blood cells. I'm gonna explain. Most of the time we use the mannitol challenge test. Mannitol is a type of sugar alcohol. During the mannitol challenge test, increasing doses of dry powder preparation of mannitol is administered using an inhaler device. A nebulizer is not needed. The required dose is divided into multiple capsules which are loaded and inhaled individually. This is an indirect bronchial provocation test. In other words, it indirectly causes inflammation. Let me explain. There are no receptors from mannitol to bind to but its presence causes problems. There are direct tests like methacholine or histamine, but these molecules have receptors that can be activated on the smooth muscle cells. So as soon as you're exposed to methacholine or histamine, that smooth muscle can contract. Mannitol acts through the creation of a periciliary liquid leading to inflammatory cells like mast cells to release inflammatory mediators, cytokines, which can lead to bronchoconstriction. In other words, you need the inflammatory cells to be present to have bronchoconstriction or that smooth muscle contraction. Since mannitol works in this way, you can assess for changes in asthma control after therapy is initiated. Remember, asthma therapy is directed at reducing the inflammatory cells in the airway. The mannitol challenge test is nine steps. We increase the dose of mannitol delivered and measure the amount of air you exhale in one second, the FEV1. If the FEV1 decreased greater than 15% or greater than 10% in two consecutive doses, you have obstruction or asthma, or a total of 635 milligrams of mannitol has been delivered, the test is completed. The provoking dose that results in a 15% drop in FEV1 is known as the PD-15 of the test. If a patient has a drop of 12% and then is given another dose and drops 19%, the PD-15 will be calculated based on the linear interpolation on the log scale between the last and the second last cumulative dose of inhaled mannitol and the corresponding falls in FEV1. We know that an anti-TSLP antibody will lead to a higher dose of mannitol needed to induce bronchoconstriction. This is a good thing. That antibody is called tezepelumab, which is an important molecule that will lead to improvement of symptoms of your asthma and is available to anyone who has severe asthma with continued symptoms on inhaled corticosteroids and other inhaler medications. Check with me or your physician for more information. Again, I'm just here arming you with information. Please come back next time for some more ammunition. I'll see you next time on Medicine Deconstructed.